Dixon. I pray that you are having a blessed day in the Lord. Give him honor, give him praise. Well, you guys, in case you don't know, first thing is I didn't have to cut my hair. I do have to do treatments and things of that nature. So, yay. You know, it looks a little weird with the curls and stuff, but the, the young lady that did it was very anointed and appointed. Thank you very much. So, let me tell y'all something. You know, oh, there's so much going on. There's so much going on. But I keep hearing God says this, and I, I'm going to drill it, and I'm going to keep drilling it. Hold on, let me turn off some of this light. Stick. I think that's just too much light. What God was telling me is that, in this season, it's not just even in this season, for the last 10 years, please listen to me, everybody. For the last 10 years, the body of Christ is going back instead of forward. I'm going to have to cut this thing and, and break it straight to the, to the end of it. Just like he asked Jesus Christ to serve him, talking about the God of this world. If you fall down and worship me, I'll give you the glory of the kingdoms of this world. That's the same thing that he's trying to do to all of us. Ain't no trying, he's doing it. And God said that it's not just so people that are getting killed. He said, but they're dying without him in this hour like never before. Listen to me very carefully. People are dying without God like never before. He says, the harvest is plenty. He said, but the laborers are few. He said, because everybody trying to do their own thing. Everybody trying to build their own kingdom. He said, your houses are full. He said, but my house is desolate. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. He said, my people are dying while y'all parting. Oh, come on, somebody, hallelujah. I cannot stress, and, and I, I've reiterated, and I probably will continue to reiterate it. The enemy is trying to take fear and dislodge not just the black man, the black woman, everybody. It's just different scenarios. All you got to do is open your eyes. All over the world, people are going through. The enemy is trying to dismantle our faith by installing fear. And I'm, I'm going to be raw and uncut like never before. They want you to be afraid to die. I'm saying it like I'm saying it. They want you to be afraid to die. And let me tell you something right now. You better get it in your mind that you are not going to be afraid to die. Because for Christ I live and for Christ I die. That's the whole nut. That's the whole thing in a nutshell. The enemy, it, it, that's why these diseases, this, this. And God is allowing it. Knowing God, Notice that God is allowing it. Because guess what? He wants you to know you. God already know every last one of us. He knows what we're going to do, what we're not going to do, what we're going to receive, what we're not going to receive. Hallelujah. In this hour, it is imperative that you get close to God. No, no, not just get close to God. It is imperative that you have a relationship with God. People stop playing. And I'm so serious. I've been saying this for months, years. Stop playing. Stop playing with God. Stop playing with people. And listen to what I'm saying. I got to break this thing down tonight. Either you're going to be a child of God or you're not. Either you're going to fornicate or you're not. Either you're going to drink and sneak or you're not. Or you, you get the drift because that's what's happening. Let's just be real. The only reason the body of Christ don't have the power that it is endowed with because it is written. Is because most are tainted. And hold on. I am not trying to act like I'm all that in a bag of chips. But we're going to have to make some hard choices in these last days. Either you're going to be pure or you're not. Because if you're not pure, that means you ain't got no power. I don't care how good you can teach and you can preach. Because truth be told, we got lots of them all, all over. Facebook, Crookbook, TikTok, whatever. I, I mean, they preaching. they do, And people still not getting saved. So it's not about the preaching and the teaching. It is about the power of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And the only way you can get that power is if you stay pure. I didn't say perfect. I did not say perfect, but I said pure. That means living every day intentionally. I'm not going to touch the unclean thing so that I can have power. Why do why, why you think they're doing what they're doing? It is to dismantle you so deep that you will forget your God, that you will lose your faith. That's why all this stuff is happening and God is allowing it. And people keep saying, well, you know, God going to come get us. You know what? You can say what you want to say. God will come get us. But at a appointed time, that appointed time, no one knows. Until then, what we're going to do? We're going to just be, oh, my God, oh, my God, the devil is a lie. 
It is time to get endued with the power of Jesus Christ of Nazareth like never before. How do you do that, prophetess? You get in that word every day. No, no, no. You can't skip a day. You see, the, we, it's time for us to stop playing. Come on, somebody. It's time for us to stop playing. Either you want to be saved or you don't. You want to go to heaven or you want to go to hell. I ain't got time to play games. Let's just be real. Because too many people are dying without God. I'm telling you, I keep hearing it. He said they don't have a real relationship with me in front of everybody. You know, people are acting like this and acting like that. He said, but I am looking for those that love me for real. Behind closed doors. What you do when no one's looking, that's who you are. What you think when no one's looking, that's who you are. Hallelujah. And it's not to bash you. It's not to belittle you. It's not to break your spirit. It's just that I'm telling you, I keep hearing God says, this is not the time. This is the time where the line is being drawn, who are his and who is not. And I'm telling you, the most thing they're, they're, they're using is fear. I'm, I can't believe most Christians the way they fear. I can't believe what they're doing. And again, not trying to judge nobody. I, I, I'm just not understanding what's happening. You mean to tell me Jesus Christ and 12 disciples turned this world upside down. And here we have, seriously, statistics say we have almost a billion Christians right there, just in the United States alone. And yet half of y'all scared, scared, scared to say what you got to say, because you know, people going to judge you, mock you. Trust me, been there, done that. Lose friends all the time. People, I don't really care. I, 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 didn't, I, I didn't stop caring. Hold on. Not saying I don't love people. I'm not going to throw nobody away. But honey, it's mean God all the way to the end because I want to see his face. I want to say, I want to hear, well done, thy good and faithful servant. Because most people, let me tell you what they're living for accolades around the people right now. These people can't put you in heaven or hell. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying up in here tonight. Your first thing in this world right now is to get close to God and anything that is trying to take you from your God, exit out. I don't care who it is, what it is, exit out. But right now we need power of the Holy Ghost. That's this message tonight. We need power of the Holy Ghost. All that little, all that little rat tat tat praying and them little popcorn prayers that ain't working. Them, you don't see these demons? Let me tell you something. I was having a conversation with a student. I see, I've been seeing things since 1996, so it doesn't even matter. But I'm seeing stuff in the daytime. And hold on, I'm about to blow your mind tonight. You know what we talked about? And I'm sure she probably didn't think I was going to say this publicly. I didn't think so. But I told it to her, and it hit me like a bolt of lightning. I used to do drugs. Ain't no, ain't no lying about nothing. Cocaine. Yes, y'all know what I'm saying. Hallucinate like all kind of stuff. You know what tripping me out? I ain't touching nothing. I still see him. Come on, somebody. Y'all better understand what I just said. You mean to tell me that even when you in sin, these demons mess with you? And they mess with you more when you're not? Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Y'all better understand. And, and people will get scared, especially Christians. Oh, I don't want to see that. What you mean you don't want to see that? That's all the New Testament talks about. That's all Jesus did was cast out devils. But now they didn't put names on, 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 on the devils. Yeah, I'm saying that they didn't put names, legal names, legalistic names. Because you know why? Because they know if you call out that name, you got to cast out that devil, he going to be gone. So they didn't, they didn't camouflage it with, and I'm going here tonight, and I'm not taking away from nobody. So, But I'm going to say what I got to say, which is in, in the multitude of what God is saying. Show me in the Bible where there's mental illness. Show me in the Bible where there's schizophrenia. Show me in the Bible. I don't want to hear all that foolishness. Show me in the Bible because he called them demons. He called them infirmities. He called them spirits. He called them diverse diseases. Diverse disease. You know what diverse means? It ain't supposed to be in your body. It ain't supposed to be in your spirit. It ain't supposed to be in your head. It, it, it has no part of you. He said, because guess what? I had already, by my stripes, you are healed. So, so somebody lying. Somebody lying. Come on, somebody talk to me tonight. Somebody lying. Somebody lying then. I'm not going to stay on here long saying the same thing over and over. But I will say this. It's time to get empowered. It's time to get empowered. 
they think they're running stuff. And God say, nay, I have 6,000 that haven't bowed down to Baal, and I'm one of them. Hallelujah to his name. Let me tell you something. I'm not going to say I don't get scared. I'll be lying to you. But I got so much God in me. Like I said last night in class, and I'm going to tell you how I do it. I be, I be, you know, because fear do come up on you for one moment. Then all of a sudden, I, I get full of the Holy Ghost, and I'm like, look, this will what we doing? Then let's do it. Because I really, this is just my testimony. I shouldn't even be here. I almost got killed seven times for doing stuff I ain't had no business doing. One saved, one sanctified, and one filled with the Holy Ghost. So you mean to tell me now I'm saved, sanctified, and filled with the Holy Ghost? I'm going to let a devil run me? I'm going to let a devil stop me? I'm going to let a devil put me in fear? Come on, I just said something about it. Hallelujah. Well, well how we do this? You got to get full of the Holy Ghost. Even Jesus did that. And he was the son of God. He went somewhere and prayed. 40 days, 40 nights. He got in that word. Believe it or not, he was the word. Hallelujah. I feel the power of God up in here. All that ridicule and, and, and that pretending praying and the pretending preaching. And, and what I mean by that, it, it, all that is nothing if people are not getting healed and delivered in the presence of the Holy Ghost. That's what we need in this day and hour, God says. And I'm going to preach it, and I'm going to preach it, I'm going to preach it, and I'm going to preach it. But you can't touch the unclean thing. And you got to walk this walk and talk this talk. You got to be real. Because if you don't see what's happening, it is time for the body of Christ to wake up. I'm going to say it again. It's time for the body of Christ to wake up. Stop letting them scare you. Stop being afraid. And if you die, you die. Hallelujah. We die in God. Nobody playing with these devils. Do you know they'll stay up all night praying? Do you know they'll be in shape before a Christian? So that lets me know two things. It's not that we're not capable. We just haven't made that firm. That firm stand and say, I'm going to do this, God. I'm going to give you everything I've got. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I'm going to give you my life. I'm going to live it for you. Hallelujah. They're doing it for Satan. <laughs> Hallelujah. But most Christians want to play the defense. You want to be saved on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. You want to sneak and creep. Mm -hmm. I did it too. Let's just keep it 100 up in here. It's time to be real with this thing. God needs you in this hour. This is a thus saith the Lord. And I charge every last one of you that are watching and will watch. He said he needs you in this hour to be holy, to be sanctified, to be filled with the Holy Ghost. And to cast out devils and to heal his people and to love people back to life. Quit throwing away people. Just because people don't roll how you want them to roll. Act how you want them to act. Talk how you want them to talk. Walk how you y'all. Come on somebody. Hallelujah. Y'all know I'm telling the truth up in here. People throw you away in a heartbeat. Hey, well, we don't like it. She just do too much. Well maybe you do too little honey. Hallelujah. Oh y'all started me. <sighs> praise God. Praise God. That's all God told me to tell y'all. It's nothing but love. But it's time. It's time. I, I, I'm I, seeing, you know, like even the things that are happening. Every place that you tread, Joshua 1, 8 says, he says, I'll, I'll give it to you. He said, we want a person to be able to stand before you because as I was with Moses, I'll be with you. Don't you know, wherever you're at, you're supposed to be praying over your territory. Hallelujah. And maybe you can't save everybody, but you don't know it might just be one. It might just be one. It might just be one, says God. Hallelujah. So I pray that God be with you. I pray that you be strengthened and you have to strengthen yourself. How do you, I'm going to say this again. I don't know why, but God got me saying it, but I'm going to reiterate it. People, it's like everybody trying to be famous. Everybody trying to get clouded. Everybody trying to be the world. Honey, let me tell you, you better equip yourself in this hour. How do you equip yourself? You better listen to that word. You better get in that word. You better live in the presence of God. Notice what I said. There's a dwelling. I, I, I don't understand when they say usher in. God's supposed to dwell with you every day, every night. God, I need you. Don't take the Holy Spirit from me. Hallelujah. That's how you beat the enemy. All upside his head. Hallelujah. So God bless y'all. God keep y'all. Y'all know what time it is. Roll our soldiers for that is truly who we are. Let's walk like it. Let's talk like it. Let's be like it.
Let's show them what time it is. God bless.